Hey, what's up you guys? This is Anthony here from the Ultralight Backpacker. Today we're going to be taking a look at an awesome piece of car camping gear. Right here in front of you, we have the Coleman Dual Fuel Powerhouse 414 stove. This is an awesome stove that I've used a couple of different times out on my car camping trips and we're going to pull it out of the box, show you the features and actually run it through its paces with some fuel and show you why I love this thing so much. Stay tuned. All right guys, this is the Powerhouse 414 dual burner, dual fuel stove, uses unleaded fuel or your Coleman or any other comparable white gas fuel source. This is how it comes out of the box. It's got a nice uh, sturdy handle here. It's got a nice locking mechanism here. We can open it up. It's got a nice big back wall with two large panels that clip in with these little butterfly clips here. We've got a chrome plated metal here, which has lasted pretty nice on a good couple of burns. And it is removable. And then underneath we've got both of the burner heads and we've got our fuel canister in here as well, which we'll pull out in a second. What we have to do to get that fuel canister out is pull this chrome plate up here, be a little gentle, and we pull out our fuel canister here. The fuel canister here is very robust. We've got a really nice cap here with really nice threads. We've got our on-off port here and our fuel regulator. We've got our piston-driven pump here that provides pressure for the tank. And then there's these hooks that hook the whole fuel canister onto the stove itself. And then we've got our tube here which is our evaporator. So it takes that liquid fuel, vaporizes it so that we get a nice hot uh, blue flame. The main burner head right here, you can see that evaporator tube right there. Runs down underneath, lights this, and there's another tube here that allows fuel to go through there. Go to this burner head so long as we turn it on from the left side here. I'll show you that in just a second. But this is awesome because you've got two burner heads here and you can fit a 12 inch pot and a 10 inch pot. So you've got plenty of room here for your big car camping pot cook kit setups. You've got the burner over here that's controlled by the nozzle on the fuel tank that directly controls this burner. However, if you wanna use this burner, you also need to open this valve over here. You just turn that out, open it up, and then you have a good flame over here too. You can regulate this flame by turning this key in and out. Your main regulation is going to be on this side. This one's me. Let me show you guys how we're going to go ahead and fire this thing up. I will be using the Coleman manual for this. So everything I say in the video is going to be through their instruction manual. First, we're going to go ahead and grab the fuel canister, and we're going to turn the fuel valve clockwise until it's in the stopped position so that the fuel is off. Next, we're going to make sure that this pump knob here on the side is fully closed and seated. We'll take the tank placed on a level surface, and we'll turn it up on its side so that the fuel cap is facing straight up and is on a level plane. Then we can go ahead and unscrew the cap and add either unleaded fuel, white gas fuel, such as Coleman camp fuel or equivalent Crown camp fuel. We would place our funnel filter right inside there like so, pour fuel into there until the tank was full. Now this tank is already full, so I'm not gonna add any more fuel. Now that that's done, we'll go ahead and thread our cap back on, making sure not to cross thread. That sucker's on nice and tight. We're going to go ahead and check our tank for any leaks by moving it around and checking all the ports and make sure we have no leaks. So we'll go ahead and guide that through like so. And the stove hooks in on these two little latches here. Now that that's seated nice, we can put that back down and attach the windscreen. Now we can get to pressurizing the tank and lighting it and cooking. Make sure our fuel nozzle is off here. Our pump is closed. Our fuel cap is closed and nice and tight. And also we want our lighting lever here. It's this little pencil here that cleans the valve. We want it turned in the up position. So we're gonna open our pump nozzle at the end here. We're gonna place our thumb over the hole and we're gonna pump this 30 times. Screw it back down like so. Coleman says to do is we'll take a match. We're gonna light the match and hold it over the end of the burner. And then we're gonna open our fuel nozzle two turns. You can see the flame is lit here. Once it's gotten going for about a minute to two, Coleman recommends that you turn the valve down. Now we can adjust the fuel as needed. So if we're cooking something smaller, we can use less fuel. Or if we're cooking something much bigger, we can add more fuel. If your flame is all yellow the entire time, you likely have a leak in the system, and Coleman recommends that you turn the system off, let the flame die down. But let's go ahead and light this other stove on the other side. We're gonna use another match, hold it over the edge, and we're gonna turn this key counterclockwise to allow fuel onto this side. We'll 
got this key all the way open. And I can turn my flame up on both sides and both of these are gonna heat up. Throughout your cooking session, you will at some point wanna pump some more pressure into here with a pump nozzle. You can kinda rotate this to clean out the valve as needed. But let me just go ahead and show you guys how powerful this stove really is. Like cranking this sucker up. She really cooks. And now if we wanna turn this burner off, we'll just take this and turn it clockwise to cut off the fuel source. But you can see we can adjust the flame a little bit before it cuts off, so. If you wanna adjust the flame, you can use it a little bit. But we can turn it off that easy. Let's show you how big we can get this thing with one flame. That thing can cook some heat out right there. All right, and as a final test, we're gonna take an MSR Titan kettle filled with two cups of ice cold water. We're gonna place it over a single burner on high and see how long it takes to boil two cups of water. Let's go ahead and get it started. Start the timer. I'm gonna turn the flame down just a little bit so that it doesn't burn my lid off. Let's go without the lid. Crank that baby up. All right, we got a big hot roll and boil here. That took about four minutes. Keeping in mind that this flame is much too wide for this small backpacking pot. All right guys, turning this set off to the off position is rather easy. Turn this nozzle down. And we're gonna turn our fuel nozzle clockwise all the way until the fuel is shut off. And keep in mind any residual fuel is gonna continue to burn. So you might still see a flame for another minute or two. That's okay. That's totally uh, accounted for. When in doubt, your instruction manuals are up on this back panel here as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you the size of pots that we can put on this Coleman dual fuel stove. So I've got a 10 and a half inch big pot here for boiling water. And then I've got a 12 inch frying pan here that fits right in there nice. I can actually scoot this over a little bit and I've got some room in between to move around on the burner head if I need it. If I center them, I can center my 10 inch and my 12 inch right over the burner head. So this is the reason that I bought this Coleman dual fuel camp stove was number one, that white gas is incredible for uh, cold temperatures. It lasts really long and because of its size. I hope you guys enjoyed the review of this Coleman dual fuel powerhouse 414 stove. I've loved this thing. I've had it on a couple car camping trips. And as you can see, I keep it nice and clean because I love it. I want it to last and I know that this kit's gonna last forever. There's a lot of great products from Coleman as a company. I know it's not ultralight, but as a car camper, I like to show some products on both ends of the scale for those of you um, who also like to car camp. So please go ahead and click on the link below. I will link this product on Amazon and on the Coleman site for you. Take a look at it, see if you like it. And if you like, please check out my Patreon page, I'm trying to get something set up to where I do gear giveaways. So it's not just about donating money to me so that I can make money. Uh, I'm actually setting something up to where I can do like monthly prize drawings. And the more people that sign up, the bigger prizes we can give away. So I'm currently working on that right now. No fee on the Patreon as of yet, but if you sign up, we'll get more people involved. And then at some point we can start giving away some gear. I hope you guys liked the video. If you do, go ahead and hit that like button below. Like, share, and subscribe guys. We'll catch you on the next one. See you next time.